woke up at seven with fruit and veg delivery from London Fruit Co-op. Had a banana and some frozen fruits and a bag of carrots. A delivery uh, from Sainsbury's last night. Went back to bed. I went to bed really quite late. I'm usually I'm usually in bed at around 10, 10 30, 11 the latest, but it was close to 1 a.m. when I went to bed. So uh, at 7.30, once everything was settled um, from the delivery, I went back to bed. It's uh, 8.30 now. I just woke up. I'm looking to go to my yoga class at 10.45. Initially, I was aiming to go at 9, but there's no way I could do it. I think I only really managed six and a half hours of sleep. Which makes me feel a little bit wasted and a bit tired. Um, I, yeah, if I don't have at least seven, ideally maybe eight, if not even nine, but eight, um, I'm just very tired. During the week, I normally go to bed at uh, earlier, as I said, and I wake up at 6.30 or at 7 or at 7.30. More recently, I've been waking up at 6.30, so I have about an hour and a half to study uh, in the morning before uh, or after I've prepared everything in terms of breakfast and shower and food to take for lunch and dinner if I have a very long day out. So I'll show you what I got on my delivery. There's a little bit more than, well in reality it isn't, but there's a few things, half of the things are for a friend who's coming over to stay. Uh, he's been a raw vegan for a very long time. Uh, we'll have another delivery next Saturday. He only arrives on Wednesday, so I have things for four or five days for him and so I'll, I'll tell you sort of what's what's mine what's for him uh, but first of all as usual I will show you what I still have from last week and how uh, what else I bought and how much that have has come to uh, for in terms of the amount that I'm spending uh, per day and per week cool <laughs> so I still have the washing machines going I still have these pears which I'll have for breakfast I have this is just a little under a box of tomatoes I have maybe a bit more than half of the courgettes these peppers and I have four cucumbers in the fridge also so last week um, I ended up going or buying some garden peas from Tesco's that I was munching one evening on my way home from work late and I also bought expensive <laughs> coriander, some mushrooms, mushrooms, sugar snack peas that I snacked on the way home as well, uh, spinach and one uh, lemon which I'll use today and I'll probably show you what I'm making, um, a lovely sort of probably late lunch, early dinner. So last week I've decided to say that, that the dates come to about £3.75 per week. Uh, so my totals, oh I won't go into too much detail, plus what I've bought came to, uh, from Sunday to Saturday, seven days, £46.20 for the week, so £6.60. So I'm doing well, I'm doing well. And then finally I got another box of pears, they were delicious, these are to share, um, one of each of tomatoes for my friend and a box of apples to share again, one of cucumbers each, the grapes just for me, which I'll dig in first, the courgettes were to share but it might just be that they are for him, the bananas are all for my friend, there's 120. And the lettuce is to share five heads each. So this is what I have for my friend. And that's just half the bananas. The other half is there. And here is my half. So again, we're sharing half the apples, half the pears, <clears throat> and half the remain lettuce. And in terms of money, I think yeah, I've put there 50-50 on the courgettes, but really they might all be for my friend. Uh, but anyhow, it comes, my, my half, let's say, comes to £35.60. Not sure those are great. I might need to buy a few more things. I'm not sure. We'll see how it go again. I still have food and greens for like a day and a half, let's say, of uh, greens and maybe fruit just for one meal. But 
yes i've been to yoga and now i'm preparing what would normally be a dinner but i'm leaving home around 5 pm i'm working this evening so i'll take fruit to have later and maybe some loose um, greens like cucumber or maybe lettuce so i'm having now what i would normally have for dinner which has some degree of fat content but i'll just show you just before i assemble everything i'm making um a sort of pasta um from courgettes uh, there's some mushroom mushrooms and spinach also and then i'm making a sauce like a hummus which was made so there there's five courgettes 500 grams of spinach and I think 150 of mushroom and here there were three courgettes uh, they're here in the blender 50 grams of sesame seeds from there quite quite fatty in a way uh, there's juice of, of one lemon and it really I had to add a little bit of water really it would need more more lemon there's a garlic clove uh, some cumin and I've just added a little bit of chili powder and a bit of extra cumin and then just on the top I'm going to put one red bell pepper and some uh, fresh coriander so I'll show you in a second how it how it's looking yeah I think I'm I'm happy with it now it's quite creamy and now there's a bit of spice to it I could probably add a little more garlic and definitely more lemon but this is what I had and it's pretty pretty good looking really good and i'm gonna mix it all together it tastes amazing Whee! <laughs> for presentation purposes i've just changed an instagram photo i've just changed the bowl and i mixed very well with my hands on the other one and i'm gonna add these on top i will add the rest on top <laughs> later i forgot to say in addition to everything that i bought here i think i mentioned the carrots just a bag a small bag i don't know if it's a kilo of carrots but i also bought uh two i believe they are 400 gram a bag each of blueberries or frozen blueberries uh, so i got those also so that was another one two three four pounds but anyways i'll tell you about that later on i'm gonna enjoy this bayote now it's ever so creamy oh my god i'm happy i'm a very happy lady i'm gonna study after <laughs> and then i'm going to work this evening so i see you soon i think this is probably it for for this update on food and prices <laughs>